welcome student in the previous video i told you about the method of cultivation means how the lost nutrient from the soil can be replenished now next point soil fertility can be increased in two ways i told you three methods the three methods that i told you is crop rotation fallowing and multiple cropping these to replenish the nutrient that has lost by the soil now another methods are also there two methods what are these organic method and inorganic method organic method and inorganic method organic method what this includes the use of organic manures organic method this includes the use of organic manures means organic manure we are using for this organic method and inorganic method what this includes the use of chemical fertilizers we are using inorganic method that has been made by the human being that is chemical fertilizer to increase the soil fertility these are the two ways next is manure what is this manure these are organic matters composed of dead plants and animal waste what is manure these are organic matter that are composed of dead plants and animal waste the plants that are dead and the waste of animal when these two are composed then we are getting manure this manure what it does it plays an important role what role important role why because it improves the soil fertility this manure it plays an important role because it improves soil fertility next is chemical fertilizer chemical fertilizer now this chemical fertilizer it contains inorganic salts chemical fertilizer which contains what inorganic salt example nitrogen phosphorus and potassium this chemical fertilizers it includes in this only manure and second one is chemical fertilizer so chemical fertilizer it contains inorganic salts like example nitrogen phosphorus and potassium now fourth point irrigation it is the artificial supply of water to the crops when the crops need them what is irrigation it is the artificial supply of water artificial supply of water to the crops when needed artificial supply of water to the crops when needed this is called irrigation we get water from where we get water rivers lakes ponds wells and tube wells these are the sources from which we get water now irrigation is very important irrigation is very important for the farmers why because of because of our country why because water is not freely available in all places in our country so why irrigation is very important irrigation is very important to the farmers of our country why because water is not freely available in all places in our country now this is fourth point irrigation now traditional method of irrigation these methods come includes inside this irrigation traditional methods what are the traditional method the swing basket method the swing basket method what happens in this it is used to lift surface water it is used to lift surface water using bamboo basket and iron seat using bamboo basket and iron seat the bamboo basket is made by the help of iron seat it is lifted this is swing basket method so swing basket method it is used to lift surface water means the water that is in pond or in river or in lake that is used to lift surface water using bamboo basket and iron seat first second one the persian wheel method this is the persian wheel method what happens in this method in this method two bullocks are moving in a circle to turn a drum and pick 
the water from below. Now what happens in this Persian wheel method? Two bullocks are tied and the bullocks are moving in a circular way. And to that bullocks, one big wheel is there. And to that wheel, drum is tied to it. And the water that is present in the river, pond, they are picked below the water. The water is picked by the help of this bullock when they are moving in a circular way. This is the Persian wheel method. Third one is the rope and basket with pulley system method. The rope and basket with pulley system method. Now what happens in this? By the help of a rope and basket, we pull water from well. Those who have well in their home, you have already seen this method we are using. By using rope and a bucket to pull the water from well. These are the three traditional method of irrigation. Next is modern method of irrigation. These <coughs> traditional method, now we will be discussing about modern method of irrigation. First is sprinkler irrigation. Sprinkler irrigation. In this method, pipes are used. What are used? Pipes are used and water is properly passed through the pipes. In this method, sprinkler system, what, what is used? Pipes are used and water is allowed to pass through the pipes properly and through at the top, a rotating, rotating sprinkler water nozzle is present there. One rotating sprinkle nozzle is present at the top. And this sprinkler, what it does? Water is spread throughout the field uniformly. Now, when the sprinkler or rotator sprinkler is rotating, the water is spread to the entire field uniformly without the wastage of water. So, sprinkler irrigation means what? In this method, pipes are used and water is properly passed through the pipes. Rotating nozzles are there. When the switch is on, the rotating nozzle, it rotates and the water is spread throughout the field uniformly. Second one is drip irrigation or trickle irrigation. Second one is drip irrigation or trickle irrigation. First I told you sprinkler irrigation. Now second one drip irrigation or trickler irrigation. This method, this drip irrigation method is very expensive. It's very expensive method. What we have to do? We have to use a network of pipes connected with valves in it. We have to use network of pipes connected with valves in it so that the water may drip slowly onto the soil near the roots or it is slowly released under the surface of the soil. So why it is called costly or why it is called an expensive method because in this lot a network of pipes are used and the place where the plant is, we have to place each nozzles in that place. Because if you don't put nozzle in a particular plant place, then what will happen? That plant will not get water. That is why the water that falls in this drip irrigation, either by drop wise, it falls drop wise, either directly drip slowly onto the soil near the roots. Suppose at the top of the plant, the nozzle is there, then when the water will be released, the water will fall drop wise on the surface slowly near the root or the water will be spread below the ground on the surface of the soil. This is drip irrigation.